It's okay. It's Tiber Saxon, not Gar Saxon. We're good. We're good. Of course, he specifically calls out his brother in this episode, so that made it pretty clear. So I looked it up for nothing. Whatever. So, a weapon to neutralize Mandalorian armor. Huh. That's kind of cool. What's even more amusing is that that means that Mandalorian armor actually works as, as armor. Unlike Stormtrooper armor, which people have punched with their bare hands to knock people out in. So, plastic, in other words. Yeah. I am kind of glad that her mother didn't die. I figured she did with the attack of the weapon. But no, she managed to get out because they, they heard her warning and they blit, they bolted. And, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Now, I have a note here that says, not to quibble, but why was Sabine working on a weapon to neutralize Mandalorian armor? Now, her own answer to that is actually funny because on the one hand, it's like, oh, come on, that's such a hand wave. But on the other hand... I mean, I've been young and arrogant too, right? I imagine most of us remember when we did something incredibly stupid, and even looking back, being ourselves with full memories of the event, we can't really answer why we did that, right? So she was just challenged to make something difficult to do, and she was like, yeah, I can totally do that, and people are then cooked alive in their armor. At least they die within seconds, that's something, right? I have to admit, given the fact that the armor is a weakness, why not just change your armor temporarily? I mean, I know, I know, they're like, oh, it is our identity, but just take it off for now, while fighting the enemy that can kill you because you're wearing that armor? I mean, come on, there's got to be some tactical sense there, right? Although, as an aside, I do get the thematic point. They mention multiple times how much a part of their cultural and personal identity is tied into their armor. Sabine mentions her own armor is five centuries old. Now that's significant because Saxon, uh, that is to say Tiber Saxon, the new one, isn't wearing Mandalorian armor. Like I suspected that earlier, but it's made clear when he gets hit by the, the beam intended to hit people wearing Stormtrooper armor. Nice little thematic, you know, point, narrative point there that he is so far from the other Mandalorians, he's literally rejected their identity as, as a people. Also, she called her weapon the Duchess. I'm pretty sure Satine would be mad if she knew about that. And then Saxon's an idiot. I am the Empire. I will do this. I am stupid. I mean, I know that most of our villains on this show are kind of one-note cartoon idiots, but seriously? <sighs> There is the other theme that's present again, the theme of why bother fighting the Empire. It's a fight that can't be won. That hopelessness theme just keeps, it just keeps running through everything. Now, I think Saxon was a power-hungry idiot, but it wouldn't surprise me if his descent into that kind of began with, there's no point in trying. And then, of course, once again, for Dov's sake, they decide not to actually kill the guy. I mean, he probably dies when the Star Destroyer explodes, but they, no, don't actually kill him yourself. No, I get it, I get it. The point is to do the right thing rather than to do the correct thing. Don't keep this super weapon that would help against the Empire. It's not our way. That's that's the point. And, of course, uh, Starbuck Lady, I can't think of her name, Satine's uh, sister, becomes the new leader of Mandalore. Nice little dovetail there. That's basically all I have to say about this episode, but one little thing. I've been commenting several times, you might have noticed me, I think I've said this out loud, how there's these not ATSTs they keep showing. And I kept wondering what the heck those were. I even went looking up, but I couldn't find a, a decent amount of information because, well, let's be honest, Wikipedia isn't actually that good of a wiki. And then I found out that it's actually called the ATDP, as in Dog Protector, right? And you're probably thinking, okay, Lore, that's cute. How'd you find that out? Well, I play with the subtitles on. And one of the subtitles in this episode was ATDP Sounds. And I was just like, aha, that's it! At last, I know the name of the vehicle! I just had to share that. I thought it was funny. That's all I got this day. Week, hour, whatever. I'll see you next time.